Good evening, everyone. A Michigan-based real estate developer is planning to turn a long-abandoned orphanage into a housing complex for low-income families. And TV6's Nick Brennan joins us now to tell us how their plans are being received. Nick? Sophie, the plans are drawn up and construction is ready to go, but the project needs funding from many sources to start, and getting it might be a challenge. The Holy Family Orphanage has been abandoned for many years, and though it definitely looks like it's seen better days, the structure is still very sound. So Home Renewal Systems, a nonprofit developer, wants to completely refurbish the orphanage into a 56-unit affordable housing complex for low-income families. The project is going to cost roughly $15 million, and the funding for it is mostly going to come from federal programs. The project would be funded largely through the federal low-income housing tax credit, as well as the federal historic tax credit. The property will be placed on the National Register of Historic Places and rehabilitated according to the guidelines of the National Park Service. The the rest of the investment will be supplied by low-income housing tax credit investors. As for what income potential residents would need to qualify, it largely depends on the size of one's family. Households with uh, three or four or five members can earn uh, in the range of up to $40,000 and not exceed the allowable, uh, the allowable income. To qualify for the credits, home renewal systems needed an ordinance from the Market City Commission to allow a payment in lieu of taxes for the project. The commission passed that ordinance unanimously today with the mayor of Marquette saying he was enthusiastic that the building, restored to its former glory, could be a great service to the community. I've been in it when it was a functioning building and it was beautiful inside and it also provides uh, housing uh, right downtown available for people who work here, work at the hospital, work downtown. But for now, all home renewal systems can do is wait to receive their federal tax credits. If Home Renewal Systems qualifies for the credits in April, they can start work on the project immediately and hopefully finish by 2017. And if they don't, they say they'll try again in the fall. I really hope they do. It's such a beautiful structure. Nice to see that they have uh, plans for this building. If everything goes as planned. All right. Thanks, Nick.